Welcome into the very first performance for the RP Funding Theater. And you guys, a big round of applause. Robert's right here with some of his crew. Thank you. I'm glad you could come out. We're going to be adding another very cool name to the long list of performers that have been here in our den, as we like to think of it. So you guys, please make a big round of applause for Mr. Andy Grammer. That's our friend Andy. Welcome back. You were just here. If you guys got a chance to come to Excellent Christmas, Andy was hanging out with us one night. Killed it. Everybody was talking about you afterwards. Like, who is the cute boy with the guitar? I said, well, it's our friend Andy. He's going to come back in a little while. I was actually thinking about, it wasn't even a year ago the first time you came here to Orlando. Yeah. You were on the road with Colby Calais. Yes. You stopped by our studio. We uh, talked about the goodness of Egyptian food. And yes. You just sang and went off to the show and... Not even a year ago. I know, it's crazy. Here you are, all over the TV. It's, it's Fox insane. News. I know. Awesome. <laughs> I, mean, I was like, whoa, what's Andy doing on Fox News? He's just getting his music out. It's yeah. been a blur for it's you. It's been such a cool year. So amazing. Thank you, you so much for having me. This well, is welcome great. back. Yeah. Thanks for having There's us. There's a lot of pressure when you roll the clips of like the script, Maroon 5, Katy Perry. Like, oh my yeah. God, right, let's do it. I'm telling you, this time next year. Yeah, good. <laughs> Seeing as how you don't like to sleep and yeah. you're kind of into your music. <laughs> the thing is that, you know, Andy's got a really great story behind him. And I know, I mean, everybody's talked about how you were just literally playing on the street. Yeah. That's what he did for his job. His manager hears him, picks him up. Together, you create all of this now. You're worldwide. Yeah. You're touring nonstop, though. Yeah. Crazy touring. It's really fun. This, this is my first headlining tour, and it's been amazing. Because yeah. it's really scary when you do your own headlining because you don't know if anybody's going to come. Yeah, you no know? pressure. You open for someone else that's big, and you're like, okay, great. <laughs> it's just your name that, that is like the main draw, and it's been, it's been really working. So it's so And exciting. you're playing a very cool venue, the Beach Gym, which has a lot of history to it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, you've got to go up into like the balcony and like dig around and like see how old some of that building is before it's the cool. show starts tonight. Okay. Speaking of a show, can you give us a song? Let's do it. Andy Grammer, y'all. Hey, yeah. It's like You're not the type, type of girl to remain with the guy, with the guy too shy, too afraid. Say you give his heart to you forever. I'm not the boy that will fall to his knees with his hands clasped tight, begging, begging you, please stay with him for worse, for better. But I'm staring at you now, there's no one else around. I'm thinking you're the girl for me. I'm just saying it's fine by me if you never leave and we can lay life. Forever it's fine by me uh, See, in the past I would try, try hard To commit to a girl who wouldn't get too far Always oh, on that scene for part But with you, 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 I can see what I need I can dream realistically Knew that this was different from the start And it seems that every time we're out of eye I can find another piece of you that I don't want to lose. But I'm staring at you now. There's no one else around. Thinking you're the one I need. I'm just saying it's fine by me. If you never leave, and we can lay like this forever. It's fine by me. I'm just saying it's fine by me. You never leave And we can lay like this forever It's fine by me uh, See, And it's never easy Darling, believe me I'm as skeptical as you oh. When I think of Life without us Seems like what we're supposed to do oh. And I don't wanna come up too strong. I'm just saying it's fine by me. If you never leave, and we can lay like this forever, it's fine by me. I'm just saying it's fine by me. If you never leave, 
And we can lay it like this forever It's fine by me I'm just saying it's fine by me If you never we lay like this forever, it's fine by me. Ooh. Yes. All right. Yes. Ah, ah, ah. It's Mr. Andy Grammer here in the RP Funding Theater, which is going out live all over the web. And awesome. if you guys want to like rub it into your friends and that they didn't get to come, we'll also have it streaming later so you can go back and watch it whenever you like online. You've played to people walking by. You've played to boardrooms. Yes. You've played to theaters like this. And then you've also played the mega crowds. Yeah. Which do you prefer? Um, you know, I don't know. They're all, it's all kind of the same idea of creating something and then if people like it and then them being excited about it and, and them, their excitement comes back to you and then you're excited and it's like this cool circle. <laughs> so it really only takes one person to be psyched to get it going. It really is no kind of similar. Yeah, you guys are doing good. I'm feeling it. I feel it, yeah. Uh, what was your first concert? Do you remember? Yeah, my first... My dad's a children's singer, actually. Ray Grammer. Check him out. He's amazing. Cool. And uh, so he used to bring me on stage to sing with him. And I think I had, like, a line, like, one line in the song. <laughs> so I'd, like, wait on stage and be like, Fish to catch. Yeah. <laughs> and then we would end, we'd get off stage and I'd be like, Dad, I need to be a bigger part of your show because... <laughs> Have your agent call my agent. Yeah, exactly. Meet you at dinner. What was the first concert that you actually remember getting really excited about and going out and getting tickets for and being yeah, in that John crowd? Mayer. John Mayer. John Mayer's great. Live, his guitar wow. stuff is just too, it's too good. Yeah, it's really nice. good. Yeah. I, I know a few people that are definitely agreeing with you on back there. And he's yeah. another one of those artists that you know you originally see doing small venues. I, I first time I saw him was at University of Kansas. Oh, cool. Maybe 80 people in the room. Totally. And now he plays out arenas and stuff. Arenas, crazy. I mean, if you had to play arenas, I mean, you think you'd what be you up for do? it. Yeah, yeah, I'm down. That sounds great. Are you getting any time to write, Earl, when you're on the uh, road? A little like bit. This? I have like just little moments of inspiration where I write, I scribble down stuff, or, or you know, on my iPhone, like sing a melody in. So I have a lot of really cool material to just kind of put together when I have a second. The songs that you know are on your album now, do they kind of come in that same kind of organic way, or did you really sit down and say, "Okay, now I got to yeah, put an album together"? Yeah, there's usually at least a, a place where you sit down and really dig in. So I think we're planning that out in my schedule now to give me that time to to go in and write some more. I'm we excited. would call it vacation. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> He calls it songwriting. Yeah. Can we hear another song? Yeah, let's do it. Awesome, you guys, Andy Grammer. Mm-hmm. <laughs> All right. Do you want to be my love, my side, my heart, my eyes? My world, my pride, my stars, and my skies. I am looking for a queen who's more than gorgeous on a movie screen. I look for the cover girl of Dignified Beauty magazine. I want dimples and simple symbols that she's sweet. Uh. Wrinkles and her nose expose what I mean. I'm looking for a four course meal that isn't based in base desire. I'm looking for a lady who knows her soul is more than an appetizer. Oh, I just want more things. Oh, I just want more things. No, 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 no. Do we fit in the pocket? Can we fit it back in the pocket when the dreams and the drums stop rocking? Can we dance with our knees not knocking and knocking them? See, I, I want a lady I can put stock in. I want the bass and back beat to lock in. I want to know real love's not forgotten, not forgotten. I said, I I I want a teacher who's eager to speak her mind A delicate features, sweet with her tongue, so kind I'm looking for the markers that say permanent so we can share I'm looking for a love that's still alive and well in rocking chairs I want faithful and stable, able to grow, yeah Beauty that moves me, improves my soul I'm looking for a shining light who likes to fight and persevere I'm looking for a lady who wants to make me part of her atmosphere And oh, I just want more 
thing. Oh, I just want more thing. No, 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 no. Do we fit in the pocket? Can we fit sit back in the pocket? When the dreams and the drums stop rocking, can we dance with our knees not knocking and knocking up? See, I, I want a lady I can put stock in. I want the bass and backbeat to lock in. I want to know he loves not forgotten, not forgotten. I said, all I need to know is, all I need to know is. All I need to know is Are you clear on who you are? And do you love it? When this world starts getting hard Will you rise above it? Rise above it in the pocket Can we fish it back in the pocket? When the dreams and the drums start rocking Can we dance with our knees not knocking and knocking no. See, I, I want a lady I can push stock in I want the patient back beat to lock in I want to know he loves not forgotten, not forgotten Shit, Ed Jump, it's a shame you don't have any fun. What do you say? It's a shame you don't have any fun. <laughs> so I hope you have at least written your story down and, and have owned the rights to it because someone's going to make a movie out a of movie. it. A movie. Oh man, sure. I'm into it. You better do I'll, it. Can I star myself? Let's do that. Well, this is the movie. We're doing it right now. I love it. If, if you were too busy touring the world to you know, star as yourself, who would you want That's to play? That's a great question. I was just going to ask that to myself right now. <laughs> I was thinking of it. Uh, who should play me? I have no idea. Who do you guys think should play him in his own movie? You know who I got? <laughs> what? It's just a bad situation to be in because no matter what I say, you, I sound like stupid. No, no, no. If I you say someone Ryan that you Reynolds think is like good looking, then you look off. stupid. If you say someone, so the person that I that I got a lot of my doppelganger that I got a lot of is when Star Trek came out. That guy. Oh, that. What's that kid's? <laughs> Chris, Chris Pine. Pine. Yes. Totally can see totally. that. And what's funny is that in my Find by Me video, yeah, there was a really cool. Uh, the model was Dominique Pike. And she's dating Chris Pine. <laughs> it's like a, a weird thing that I didn't bring up with her because that would have been so went, weird. There was no Actually, chemistry there. Weird, yeah. Uh, no, 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 no. But it was just funny. <laughs> I like I, because it, literally when that movie came out, I got blasted with emails. People were texting me like, "Yo, you look like this dude, Chris Pine." And so I was like, we were on it's set. True, and I'm like, you though. know, it's so funny. And she's like, what? And I'm like, that's a totally awkward thing to say. Like, stop. Say, don't say that. <laughs> <laughs> well, okay. Well, who's gonna play your on-screen wife then? My on-screen wife. Um, you know, since you're writing your own movie and you're going to have your happy exactly, ending. Exactly, exactly. Uh, I don't know. You don't have Because I have crushes. a girlfriend and I always get in trouble if I say this <laughs> stuff. So we'll just to pass that back you're to like, you. You're ah. like, All right. Since you don't really have any time to write your own movie these days. Yes. And you're going to be writing music on your vacation. Mm -hmm. When are you going to take a vacation? I don't know. I'm into <laughs> it, though. That sounds great. I know, doesn't it? It does. Something warm. But it's sandy. hard to, like, right now, I've been so blessed and lucky. It, it's really hard to... I've tried sometimes. They'd be like, okay, management, everybody, label, I'm not doing anything for this week. They're like, totally cool. <laughs> we'll, we'll block it off. I just want to let you know that Lano says you can play this, that, that week. And you're like, oh. So you're like, uh, yeah. okay, I'll totally do that. They're like, what? You can't say no to any of these things. They're so amazing. I'm so lucky. I'll take a vacation later. Yeah, when, I guess when I'm bombing, I'll take a vacation. <laughs> Shh. <laughs> Don't put it out there. So uh, you're here in, I think it was May, with Kobe Calais, so it's not even been a year yet. Where are you going to be a year from now? A year from now. Hopefully just doing more. I mean, this headlining stuff is so much fun. To have people come and sing words and just be totally psyched on something mm -hmm. that, that um, I've created is, uh, is so humbling and exciting. To, to, be, to start a song and have everybody have already connected to it, like they already know the script and they're already into it, is just yeah. one of the most unreal experiences. I try to... It's like there's a bunch of astronauts, but only some of them get to go to the moon. 
You know, like so when everybody, whenever somebody gets, gets to go to the moon, you can see them and they're like Sweet. so excited get to get to the and they might have been doing the astronaut work, whatever it is they do when they're not at the moon. What do astronauts do when they're not going to the moon? They anyway, hang out at Cocoa Beach. Yeah, exactly. But they're like someone's so excited. So that's how I feel. I'm like, I know there had there hasn't been that many people that have gotten a song on the radio this year that are new artists. So mm-hmm. I'm very lucky. Huge song, by the way. Yeah. Oh my god. Awesome. All right, I've always wondered this, and you seem like a pretty honest guy. Yeah. So, how annoying is it when half of the audience is like this? Um, I don't know. It's not really annoying. Really? The only way it's annoying, I'll tell you when it's annoying. This is an annoying. You want an honest answer? Yeah. It's annoying when it's some performance at like seven thirty a.m. and you had a show the, the night before. Oh. So you like roll in like what's happening? Here? <laughs> and everybody's like, bam. <laughs> That's annoying. And but if you're at a show, it's like, of course, please. It's great. Well, that's Share good. I've always, yeah. I've always wondered what that was like because you used to not have that. I mean, the concerts that we went to when we were kids, all you had to worry about were lighters. Yeah, the rules are, are different. If You know that if you play a new song or you do a version of something, that it will... It's, it's like, out. It is recorded, for sure. Wow. But that's kind of like, you know, I'm not really afraid. I think if I had something to hide, I'd that would be like terrifying. <laughs> You know? If you're playing a Red Hot Chili Peppers yeah. kind of wardrobe on stage. It, it, totally. If you have something to hide or you're not confident. I mean, I played on the street forever, so I feel like tested. Like, video, yeah. go for it. Yeah. And you came off the street one day and you recorded a little song. Yeah. And it's a mega hit worldwide now. Oh, so nuts. Would you guys like to hear it? Yes! Let's do it. This is just... It's so funny. Like hit songs are the weirdest things ever because you don't. I don't know what makes it. No one does. You try and you try. I've written so many other songs, and this one, thank goodness, connected. And it's just like it's got a little something in it that when people hear it, they love it. And it's the really cool thing about it. I'm so proud and excited that I got a song like this that has an upbeat uh, message to it because people hear it and I get all these crazy stories, like crazy stories of someone like come up to me and show, but like. I was driving my car to go do something really bad, and your song came on the radio, and I turned the car around. It's like, you know what I mean? Like, whatever that was, I'm glad that I wrote my song just for that reason. Or all these amazing stories of, of people that are, oh, we have, you know, my daughter has cancer, and she, this was her song every morning that she woke up, and now she's cancer free, and she's here. And you're like, oh my God, this is insane. Uh, so, you know. The service, for sure, has been what the reaction to me, rather than me writing this, is just unbelievable. So here we go. If you know it, rock it out. Let's get loud in this little lounge here. Uh, yeah. I've been waiting on the sunset, pills on my mindset. I can't deny it, getting high, higher than my income, incomes, breadcrumbs. I've been trying to survive. The glow that the sun gets right around sunset helps me to realize that this is just a journey. Drop your worries, you're gonna turn out fine. Whoa, you turn out fine. I said, fine, whoa, you turn out fine. If you know it, rock it. I said, you gotta keep your head up. Oh, oh, and you can let your head down. Hey, hey, you gotta keep your head up. Oh, oh, you can let your head down. Hey, hey. now I'm sorry. No, it's hard to remember sometimes. You gotta keep your head up. And you can let your head down. I got my hands in my pockets, kicking these rocks. It's kind of hard to watch this life go by. I'm buying in the skeptics, skeptics mess with the confidence in my eyes. Seeing all the angles, thoughts get tangled. I start to compromise my life and my purpose. Is it all worth it? Am I gonna turn out fine? Whoa, you turn out fine. I said fine, whoa, you turn out fine But you gotta keep your head up, oh, oh When you can let your head down, eh, eh you gotta keep your head up, oh, oh You can let your head down, eh See, now I know it's hard I know it's hard to remember sometimes You gotta keep your head up, oh, oh You can let your head down, eh Ain't only rainbows after rain the sun will always come again and it's a circle circle around again 
comes out again to say only rainbows after rain the sun will always come again and it's a circle circle a around again it comes around but you gotta keep your head up oh, oh you can let your head down said you gotta keep your head up and you can let your head down I see now I know it's hard I know it's hard to remember sometimes You gotta keep your head up Oh, oh you can let your head down Hey, 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 yeah Woo. Awesome That was good We should have served some espresso beforehand We would have been standing up you know, I guess you'll be through about four or five more times yeah. in the next year. I'm into it. Let's Open door policy it. always. Yeah, okay, Andy Grammer. Thank you so much. He's going to hang out for a bit. Make sure you guys get autographs and pictures and fun yeah. stuff like that. If you're not already coming, the, the full band show is really fun at the social tonight. So come through. I'm really excited. They're a good time. It. The Beach Room. Sorry. How bad. Beach room. The Beach Room. Do you know what time it starts? Seven. It's seven. It's good. <laughs> There's a lot. A lot happens. <laughs> You're so bad. I know. <laughs> is this sold out? Yeah. We're just sold out. Social. Yeah. Then they moved to the beach room. I think there's still tickets for the beach room. Yeah. Yeah. Come hang out. It's gonna be great. Look at you, rock star. Awesome. <laughs> we love you, Andy. I love you too. You guys, Andy Grammer. Thanks, <laughs>